a small car with a well-known name. This is the choice of many of those who are looking for an inexpensive car for every day. I think the Chevrolet Avio fits this criterion almost perfectly. The model, first shown in 2002, has Korean roots and Italian looks. Body, sedan or henchback. There is only one engine for the Russian market now, 1.6 liters, 115 horsepower, and in addition to the 5-speed mechanics, you can choose a 6-speed automatic. In other countries, the range is represented by engines from 1.2 to 1.8 liters, including one 3-liter diesel engine. The rest of the world, including Australia, where the car is produced under the Holden brand, and the States, where the Avio is sold under the name Sonic, also knows this car, because it is built on the Global Gamma 2 platform. By the way, it underlies so many models of the concern, providing an almost unsinkable basis for B-Class cars and not only for them. If you do not take into account the average results of crash tests in terms of star rating, Avio has proven itself well managed to survive two restyling and one cardinal change of generations. Here is the second version, which has been released since 2011, and will be discussed. For fitting, I looked after Avio in 2012, a sedan with a 115 horsepower engine and a manual transmission. Mileage 60,000 kilometers. The price is 410,000 rubles, as usual, with bargaining. A sedan is better than a hatchback whose trunk is small, unless the rear seat is folded down. The mileage is too big for two years, but the car is not from a taxi. The owner is an air conditioner repairman, so he wound up the mileage. He assessed the condition of the car with the wording, sat down and went. The price range for two-year avios is from 370,000 to 600,000 rubles. A new car costs at least 549,000. Let's see if this instance will work out its 410,000 rubles. When buying a new car, you do not need to pay extra for only one body color, white. For elegant blue, you will have to pay 9,000 rubles. And when you buy a car from your hands, you will get it for free. The car looks good, two years of operation left no traces of a difficult life on it. But the head optics, decided in the spirit of a motorcycle, has already grown old, the plastic of the low beam rounds has become cloudy. A new non-original headlight will be no more than 3,500 rubles and you can just polish the plastic. However, doing this is not as convenient as in the case of a single and indivisible plastic headlight cover. Of the visible troubles, attrition in the area of backslash U200 B backslash U200 bit pairing the rear wing with the bumper. High quality painting of one element will require about 5,000 rubles in Moscow. I would not paint, but ask the seller for a discount. There are no other claims to the body. The instrument panel is also reminiscent of sport bikes. The selection of a tachometer to the detriment of other devices is a topic for high-speed cars. On the toothless Avio, this is just a nice pretentiousness that does not interfere with easy and free reading of the electronic speedometer and a generous scattering of control lamps. Thick A-pillars block a decent field of fire. The seller agrees with this, he says that you have to desperately turn your head around corners. The salon has not yet become dirty, but you will have to buy covers, the upholstery of the seats is painfully tender. Some owners of versions with a machine gun faced with the strong, sweating, of oil seals. The oil in these automatic boxes was filled in excess of the norm. Our car has a manual transmission, and there are no special problems with it. While looking at the Avio, he sang the famous, March of the Aviators. The one where, higher and higher we strive for the flight of our birds. And our bird is at least where. Of course, in this size and in this price category it is difficult to come up with something stunning. The second generation of the car got rid of such problems as poor anti-corrosion protection and body cracks in the places of welding along the rear arch. This often happened on the first Avio. Before there were complaints about the 1.2 liter engine. And at the Avio of the first generation, the release bearing began to make noise long before its planned replacement. The machines of the second generation have no problems with this. However, not everything is so rosy. After a massive bombardment of questions, the seller admitted that he had already replaced the rear shock absorbers under warranty. This is a weak point of the aviation cars of the Nizhny Novgorod spill, the stabilizer bar on the driver's side, both internal CV joint anthers and front brake discs with a set of pads. He bought the latter from a dealer at a price of 6,000 rubles per set. Such an impressive list of works for a two-year-old car looks a little intimidating. As soon as the engine started, the ignition key protrudes unusually far from the lock, all control lamps went out, and the check engine remained on. 
The orange silhouette of the motor lonely illuminated the interior of the car, which was slightly shaded on an autumn evening. To my silent question, the owner instantly blurted out that the check does not affect the driving performance of the car and shoved the problem onto our fuel. I continued to be silent, and the seller, filling in the pause that had arisen, said that the lamp was extinguished at the service station, but it was lit again. Finally, he gave out the main thing. The question rests on the replacement of some two-phase shifters with asterisks. The stylish steering wheel makes Avio related to more expensive Chevrolets. The mechanism of the side air ducts is interesting. To cover the flow, you need to turn the round knob. The test drive brought no surprises. Although when checking the performance of the suspension by ear in the old-fashioned way, you need to slowly drive along the concrete fence with open windows to hear all the knocks, it seemed to me that something was rumbling ahead. This is how calipers behave. The dealer said that everything is fine, the seller made it clear that there would be no discount for this knock. Indeed, the rattling of calipers even inspired Chevrolet to free diagnostics and work on upgrading the assembly, although the company did not particularly talk about this action. I won't criticize too stiff suspension, this is a hallmark of the current Avio. Fans of the model characterized the overly informative suspension as assembled. What I really didn't like was the weak sound insulation, classmates have better ones. I like the abundance of small and cozy pockets on the front panel. Head unit confidently caught radio stations, and you can close your eyes to the creaking of plastic somewhere near the middle pillar of the body. Now, bargaining. We minus at least 12,000 rubles for the headlights and shabby plastic of the rear bumper. You also need to pay off the check by replacing the phase shifters. I insisted that in the conditions of a non-branded service, this operation would cost about 8,000 rubles. Total 20,000 rubles, in a divine way. However, the owner was ready to drop only 10,000. And here's what I'll tell you. If you add 50,000 rubles to the original 410,000, true, it will be of the last year of manufacture, but a car with a guarantee is in every way better than a car with mileage. Or you can add another 30,000 rubles to the starting price, and find a car with an automatic and a mileage of 25,000 to 35,000 kilometers. I think this is how it should be done if you need a nimble and rather stylish car that is not burdened with serious birth sores. And this copy of the requested 410,000 rubles was clearly not worth it. But it was interesting to tinker with them. With its expressive and dynamic kinetic design, it looks fresh and modern even today. Restyling, carried out at the end of 2012, did not particularly change the appearance of the model, and the main metamorphoses touched its front end. Festive European versions of the Fiesta are represented by three- and five-door hatchbacks, the latter were especially in demand with us. In Western Europe, you can find commercial three-door versions of the Fiesta van with blind rear side windows. The Fiesta sedan is for the Chinese and North American markets only. Despite its compactness, the safety of the Fiesta is high, it has a maximum of 5 stars according to the Euro NCAP crash tests. To match the exterior, there is a bright, festive interior design with protruding instrument panel visors, a comfortable three-spoke steering wheel and a two-level layout of the center console with audio control buttons made in the spirit of the Bertufone keyboard, decorative details and aluminum look and black piano lacquer. Moreover, depending on the desire of the customer, the interior can have a different color scheme, and not only the skin, but also the plastic parts of the interior and the dashboard. The original interior design is still perceived as modern. The plastic of the finish is soft and high quality, the finish is wear resistant. Noise isolation is average. Forward visibility is good. At the request of the customer, the interior can have a different color scheme. Legroom for people with height above average is not enough, but there is enough space above the head. In width, three adults will be cramped. The floor tunnel is small. Of the comments, we know poor sound insulation and problems with the head unit, but the Sony audio system of expensive versions does not cause trouble. The L-shaped design of the lowering rear headrests improves visibility astern, but in this position they rest against the backs of rear passengers. Compared to competitors, the volume of the Fiesta trunk in the stowed state is average, 295 liters versus 270 liters for the Peugeot 207 and 315 liters for the Skoda Fabia. Get the verified ones. The range of power units offered for the Fiesta is very diverse, the most widely used are gasoline versions, the most massive is the 1.25-liter engine. Many engines with minor modifications were borrowed from their predecessor, 
These are Duratec gasoline atmospheric units with a volume of 1.25, 1 1.4, and 1.6 liters and Duratec turbo diesel 1.4 and 1.6 liters. Gasolines are time-tested and refined by Ford designers, so they are quite reliable. Their timing is driven by a belt that needs to be changed every 100,000 kilometers, period for the original consumable. During this procedure, you should also check and, if necessary, adjust the thermal clearances of the valves. Most often, we see petrol versions of the Fiesta paired with a traditional manual transmission. The belt of Duratorque turbo diesels is able to withstand about 200,000 kilometers, and hydraulic lifters are used in the cylinder head. The least durable diesel engine is 1.6 liters. After 100,000 kilometers, increased oil consumption is noted, caused by wear of the cylinder piston groove. Does not withstand the quality of our diesel fuel and common rail, expensive fuel injectors fail. By 200,000 kilometers, problems with turbines appear. After restyling, Fiesta began to be equipped with new engines, a 1.0 liter three-cylinder gasoline in atmospheric and turbocharged versions and a 1.5-liter turbo diesel. But charged versions of the 7th generation Fiesta T with a new 1.6-liter EcoBoost engine, 182 horsepower, accelerating the small hatchback to the first 106.9 seconds. The three-cylinder engine is innovative, and its EcoBoost turbocharged version was awarded Best Engine of 2012, Best New Engine and Best Engine under 1 liter. Many advanced technical developments have been introduced in this unit, exhaust manifold with the cooling jacket extended from the cylinder head, three circles of the cooling system, a timing belt in an oil bath, balancing the operation of three cylinders due to an imbalance between the flywheel and the crankshaft pulley, low inertia turbocharger. Since it began to be used on Ford models recently, there is still little operating experience. Although characteristic problems have been identified, problems with starters, failure of the retractor relay, and coolant leakage from under the front cover of the engine, Due to specific difficulties, it is better to replace it at a branded service station. All Fiestas are front-wheel drive. There are three types of gearboxes to choose from, traditional, mechanics, and automatic, as well as a robotic power shift manual gearbox with two clutches. The most trouble-free was the Japanese-made automatic transmission. The Ford robot is more reliable than a similar box from the VW concern. The peculiarity of his work is jerks at the beginning of the movement. If they become too strong, it is necessary to carry out the so-called clutch adaptation at a proprietary service station, which requires a flashing of the computer. Most of the characteristic problems were identified in the MCP. Here, leaks of the axle shaft seals and the gear shift rod are noted. Moreover, if you do not notice the loss of lubrication in a timely manner, this can lead to failure of the fifth gear. Due to an insufficient oil level, it suffers first of all. By 80,000 kilometers, thrust bearing of the right axle shaft may become unusable. Reverse gear is not equipped with the synchronizer, so it often turns on with the characteristic crunch. This is not a malfunction, this is the design feature of the mechanics. The specifics of the operation of the clutch with the hydraulic drive, at idle, the noise of the release bearing is heard, which disappears when the clutch is engaged. The chassis of the Fiesta corresponds to the dynamic appearance of the model, it keeps the car well on a given trajectory even with active driving and is quite comfortable at the same time. Quite sharp, 2.8 turns, steering contributes to this driving style. An equally important advantage of the suspension is high reliability. On our roads, during normal operation, it is often necessary to change only the stabilizer struts every 60 to 80,000 kilometers. At the same time, its bushings, silent blocks of levers and ball bearings of the front suspension are able to withstand a run of 150 to 200,000 kilometers. At least 200,000 kilometers go and the gum of the rear beam. Pre-styling versions are distinguished by a simpler design of the rear lights. Since the end of 2012, the brake light reflectors have been summed up with an elegant transparent strip. The weak point of the electric power steering is the spline connection of the steering shaft in the place of its emergency folding in an accident. Over time, when the steering wheel is rotated, characteristic clicks occur in it. During the restyling of the end of 2012, this unit was modernized, eliminating the problem. At the same time, the steering consumables last up to 200,000 kilometers. The braking system of most cars is equipped with front ventilated disc mechanisms and rear drum brakes. Disc brakes were offered only on request and were standard on the ST. There are no complaints about the reliability of the brakes, but the drums need regular maintenance. Weak spots. 
In the head unit, there are problems with the audio unit. When the power is off, the speakers make noise. The innovative 1.0L three-cylinder engines have problems with starters and coolant leaks from under the front cover of the engine. The rear drums need to be cleaned every 60 to 80,000 kilometers, the signal for this will be a creak during braking. In a mechanical five-speed gearbox, leaks were found in the seals of the wings and axle shafts, as well as failure of the support bearing of the right axle shaft.